My character, Abby, has a beef with her childhood friend, Lou, uh, in the way that, you know, often happens in your early 20s. Um, something bad happens, and she really holds on to that and doesn't let go of it and really uh, lets it put a massive wedge between them. Um, and so up until this point in her life, like, that's the most important thing. You know, that's the thing that she sort of hangs everything on. Uh, every injustice. Every that's injustice, happening. every bad thing that's ever happened. She really is like, well, it's, it's because if, she, if Lou hadn't done that thing, then I would be living an amazing life. Um, and so she's kind of annoying in the beginning. She's kind of uh, the girl that I don't really like out there in the world. Um, and then over the course of the movie is forced to really come to terms with herself um, and what is important and who she loves and what she needs in her life and uh, find her strength and her core and her core happens to be her childhood friend. She needs that. Yeah, and I would say Lou is, you know, she's in a place in her life where she doesn't really, you know, she's early 30s, she's trying to um, get her life in order, but I think there is this acceptance of not being quite, you know, it's sort of a generational acceptance of being 30 and not quite having everything fit into uh, perfect uh, niches. So I think um, for 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 Lou, I, I relate to her sort of sense of humor with her friends and 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 levity in the situation until she sort of comes upon this thing that she feels very guilty about in the past that happened with Abby, which is I s slept with her boyfriend, um, um, who I was probably probably maybe most likely well, going to marry someday, right? <laughs> which is like one of my favorite lines. Yeah, you're like, like probably <laughs> maybe sort of yeah. I mean, the, the guy when you're younger, gonna work out. Yeah, and. Obviously, that's a horrible, hideous thing to do to someone. So for me, actually, I struggled with the idea. Yeah, of that was play. one of our biggest conversations. Yeah, with being a person who did that and still being likable. Um, but what's interesting about this movie, obviously, is that you start with the conversation between these women um, and this trifecta of best friends that you know have their past um, issues with, but that all of those things sort of melt off when when grave. Um, truly life or death issues um, arise. And it, I think it does, it sort of toys with the idea of nostalgia and childhood and, and how we form who we are today. And I think a huge part of that and a huge part of um, who you are is who you surround yourself with and who your family is. And your family includes your friends, friends. and your sisters and your, you know, it is a a sisterhood of the traveling pants. Wait it a is. That's a different movie. Wait a second. Um, but it is. It does uh, shape so much of who you are, and you know they are such a huge part of each other's selves. Um, and I think that Especially, becomes very clear to them as they move through the story. Because I definitely have friends that I grew up with when I was not just grew up in your twenties, but like earlier than that. And these. Met them. What? I met them. Yeah, you met a lot of yeah. them. Yeah, and I think that they really form who you are. And I think um, there's a sense of like reverting. So when these girls come together, they're kind of reverting back to who, you know, the way that they interacted when they were younger. And, um, and perhaps, um, you know, I think that is inherently an interesting place to start when something very adult and scary happens. Mm -hmm. Because then you go from this Child. to this, which Acceleration, is really cool. yeah. And that's the only way I can, ex there's no words for that. Do you go from this to this? 